Here, uh, we start the demo the Surround S360 bundle. Uh, first plug in is the S360 panner. Uh, what the panner does basically it will let you uh, keep your image. Uh, I'll just play with the. With Waves a, with S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a sound stage that surrounds the. So basically, you're spreading the mono into a few a few more channels, and when you do the rotation. Waves S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a sound stage that surrounds the. The stereo image is being kept stereo or any uh, panoramic uh, width that you open. Basically, is being kept open and. Uh, Waves S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a sound stage that surrounds the listener. But keep your material uh, in phase, uh, in a phase uh, uh, compensated way that it would uh, would uh, it would open the, the whole stereo image in a way that uh, no other panner usually does. Another plugin is the imager. Basically, it's the same as the panner. The only thing, uh, it has early reflection for more localization. Uh, if you more want to localize the, the material, for example, right now the guy is just in front of you. If you want him to go further into the room, you would uh, hear... Waves S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a soundstage that surrounds the listener 360 degrees. So getting closer and getting further. So you can actually localize the, the whole uh, material. Waves S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a soundstage that surrounds the listener 360 degrees. Another thing is the new reverb, it's the R360. It goes up 296 kilohertz. Uh, what it does is, um, it's basically it's a six uncorrelated uh, tracks, uh, six uncorrelated channels. So uh, I'll send the reverb to that guy. Um, Waves S360 degrees panner and imager regard surround as a soundstage that surrounds the listener 360 degrees. If the application you see is to position your sources 22 degrees left and spread it or stretch it one and a half. It's very clean reverb and goes up to, to 96 kilohertz. Uh, that's a reverb. Basically it's the same uh, reverb uh, properties as uh, the R360, so it's very, very simple. Um, Master Fader, you always insert the manager. And the manager will let you do bass management. Uh, here's the bass management, so let me just take out the voice here. So that's the material. I'll load the bass management setup. So you have much more, you have a way to uh, cut off all the low frequencies, send them uh, to the LFE, and the other, th the other side goes to the, all the surround speakers. So uh, you can mix additional tracks back to the LFE. So that's the manager. It will let you uh, adjust if your studio is not ITU compliant. What does it mean ITU uh, compliant? Center has to be in a certain way. It has to be a round thing. So you can compensate. If, for example, your speakers, the surround speakers, are not exactly 110 degrees, you can set it up to compensate to any problem you have in your own studio. You can also do any other manipulation on any other track, uh, like a soloing, muting, uh, phase reversal, gain, delay. Um, you can also compensate the center and the surrounds for any other problems you have. Uh, usually at the end of the mix, we can fold out the mix, the 5.1 mix, to anything that we want. For example, now it's 5.1 mix. You can go to mono, so 5.1. This is the mono version. Stereo version. You can select any other uh, mix down option that you want. The whole uh, surround plugins, uh, we are shipping the C360 and L360, which they are basically similar. The C360 is a soft knee compressor, the L360 is uh, hard knee. Um, basically, the L360 builds after the L2, and what it does, it uh, basically, basically gives you a uh, a way to link uh, speakers, so you can spe uh, link the, the rear speakers now and just boost the rear speakers, so now we're going to hear more volume from behind. You can add more uh, to the LFE, of course. Well, 
limit anything that you want. You can link the whole thing together as well, or I'll just work with the threshold or just the out ceiling to determine that your mix is not gonna pass certain levels. So this is the L360. In addition, we have the IDR, which lets you six uncorrelated dither tracks in case you wanna do your uh, surround mix to 16 bits and the uh, additional LFE, LFE that will go 60 dB per, per octave, which uh, is a very steep filter. Basically, it will compensate for uh, and will split the uh, LFE channel. But you can uh, insert it instead of the base management in the manager.